welcome back. So, I've <laughs> decided to try and sleep here tonight. Um, just pass a minute. There we go. Yes. So I've got a, a, I've got a rolled up mat, which allows me to sleep on the floor currently in the warehouse where I'm currently working. But now I've got the van, I wanted to test it out. Now that it doesn't fit, the back bit does, it, it bounces on the bulkhead bit. So it is probably a sign that I need to get rid of the bulkhead in the future. I've got half of it folded down here, but my feet do sort of fit in it. So it, it, it does kind of work. And this, I guess all this is just purely trial and error. How do I know if I need something? I won't know until I actually need it. I think that's what the answer is going to be with everything I do within this van life sort of journey. But I've got shelter and I've got a mat that I can lay on. I already know I'm going to need to get a curtain, something that goes here running across for now. I will potentially try and sell this bulkhead or remove it in the future, but right now I'm in no rush. Um, I like to do things in slow stages. I'm not very uh, bam, 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 bam type of person. So if this works for now, I can roll that mat back up and I've got space in the boot still, or in the van. Uh, got a bed I'll put some pillars in there I've got two sleeping bags so while it's warm I use them as duvets when it gets cold I will do one up and get into it like a sleeping bag normally and I'll chuck the other one over the top of me so I think the next step will be maybe a curtain across do you have any ideas how I can do a curtain across there properly like a blackout curtain and the funny thing is it's probably gonna leave it's got to be long because my feet will be about here, which means if people walk past, they're just gonna see feet hanging out of a curtain. You know, people might call the police, they might actually think it's a dead body in the vehicle, so. Uh, yeah, so I've got sleeping done. I'll get up in the mornings and then I'll just go into work, have a shower, start my day. So that's the first stages of it. But I do want the curtain for privacy and added insulation. I've got no way of charging devices yet in the car or using laptops and stuff, so they're future plans. I went to range quickly to have a nosy. I was thinking about curtain poles, but I can't see how they're going to hold the weight of the curtain. Or do I just wedge them in? And I thought, do magnets work? Do people use magnets for curtains? I don't know. There's so much exposed metal, it seems like something you want to utilise. And I looked at some vinyl. I thought it'd be quite good to get some floor vinyl, which I can clean the floor, get it all nice and clean. And then rather than putting a the board there and insulation, and then losing more space, just vinyl on it. And this bed creates a separation. I've stepped in the woods in winter on the floor with just a ground mat underneath me. Yeah, it was cold, but you know, long term, I'd rather just put something at the top of the van and stop the heat escaping the top. Yeah, so tonight I'll be sleeping in the van. I'll, I'll I'll carry on filming once I get in the van properly. Uh, I'm going to edit the other video first. I've got to do that inside work because I haven't got the power to do it inside here. And the battery doesn't last on my laptop. So I will edit all that stuff and then I will get, in, get back in the van in the evening and try my first night. It's going to be bright. There's no... Uh, shelter for now, no protection, no privacy. I'm quite a light sleeper, so I'm not expecting a great night's sleep on the first night. But once you adjust and adapt, I think it will get better the more I can adjust stuff. But it is kind of showing me that I need to find a long term sleeping solution. Wedging my legs in that gap probably isn't the best thing. But when you're in a sleeping bag, you kind of wedge your legs wedged anyway. Um, 
yeah so if you've got any ideas and comment um, give me a comment tell me what I should do should I just get magnets should I use a curtain pole is that what you do blackout curtains from the range I saw will they do the job with little eyelets are they good enough um, and then I've just got yeah two sleeping bags a pillow and this mat that's my bed and I thought maybe to make it warmer I don't know if it's going to work or not it might be too messy for a little van like this but getting like I saw they had little rugs should I get a little rug and put that in the back and will that give me like a a bit of warmth as well within the van I don't know it's exciting and as well I know that I can start the engine for a bit I don't want to do this long term but you can start the engine put the heating on for a bit let it blow through into the back of the van because it's not a big van and that will give me warmth as well if I need it to take the chew off so that'll be stage one sleeping in here I've got nothing else in the van so I'll get up go back into work have a wash get changed and start my day the next steps then will be where do I put my clothes where do I put my little bits of well I've got one knife one fork or a slash spoon a spork one plate and one cup so I've got a little cardboard box I'll put them in here is it worth getting like stackable plastic containers that I put those sort of bits in will that make it more organised got loads of storage in the front of the van little pockets of stuff so I could start utilising that with some of my bits uh, yeah but that's said one thing at a time I'll do the sleep and then the next bit will be working out the curtain then after that I'll start looking at maybe the vinyl on the floor and we'll build it up in stages but yeah join me later it'll be dark in here I'll have a special light on I'll get the torch shining and then we'll see what we're going to do let's get the shoes off now I did put a torch in here which I hope it's going to work I just don't know where I put the bag right here we go Once this torch is on, it probably make a difference. Magnet. That's worked. Let's pull that down. There we go. Door shut. Yeah, there we go. Let's just try and position this differently. Um, Where will it stick that's good for metal wires? No, it's just me blocking it. Right there. It's actually brighter in here than the cameras I'm actually giving credit for. Let's just see if I can pick up some light on the ear. No. If I just stand it there for now. Yes, it looks like a ghost video now ah well I'm in the van first night I'm going to be sleeping in the van and first night plate um, got my knife got my fork in here I've got some toilet roll a power bank if I need it and Hopefully the USB lead, yep. Um, I've brought with me a woody hat, some woody gloves and a snood, in case it gets cold. Got the iPad for later. Some water. Uh, got the bed that you saw, that I laid on the floor. And with that I've got two sleeping bags, two pillows, a couple of little square pillows. And... Um, I've got PJs as well, so when I walk out of here in the morning, I don't have to walk out naked. <sighs> now it's dinner time, so it's Friday night, so I've ordered a Friday night curry. Like people do in houses, I'm doing the same. A new Chinese I'm trying, called the New Wok. Um, so I've got sweet and sour chicken balls, because I like them. I've got some chips, I've got crispy shredded beef and a chicken curry. Might not eat it all, but I'll eat some tomorrow. 
I've eaten buy rice because rice at the moment it's quite expensive, like four to five pounds for a tub of rice. So let's quickly warmed up this bag of rice. Chicken balls. I got a ten pack. That might have been a bit excessive. Right. As I'm doing things, I'm realising that. Ah, uh, right, that'd be easy. Kitchen roll is something that I'm gonna want regularly, I think. Forgotty hands and fingers. Um, I think kitchen roll will be definitely up there, things to get. Crispy chili beef. Can't really see it here, let's just show you that. Looks nice. I thought the lighting with that light was gonna be really good. It's really not. <laughs> it's really not, is it? It doesn't make good lighting for YouTube, I'll give you that. Oh, I am salivating for this. I need to eat a bit before I put more in. The younger's kicked in too much in there. I do apologise for that. That was like a pig, wasn't it? Bloody lovely. A little bit of rice that I cooked. Well cooked, warmed up. See, there, there's things that I can eat the following day, like I've got a chicken curry. If I don't eat all that, I don't mind, because I can eat that the next day. No issues. Chicken balls I can eat the next day, I don't mind. The only thing I can't eat the next day is chips. I think chips the next day are horrible. But you tell me, can you eat chips the next day? Do you eat chips the next day? If you do, how? Do you warm them up? That's a... That is a... Thing to talk about in the future. No. What do you do? Well, I'm going to put the bits I've not eaten back into the bag. I assume carrier bags you'll be we'll be using a lot for this sort of thing. Eating out of and storing and you're gonna need a lot of bin bags and stuff, aren't you? Right, let's make sure this bowl is straight. So yeah, I'll dish this up. I won't eat in front of you because that's not interesting really, is it? Um just gonna pour this over my food. Maybe save a little bit, I don't know. Sweet and sour sauce doesn't taste that great the next day either. I don't think, I think it curdles, isn't it? There is like a gelatin. Don't know what's in it. Right. But that's me done. Food. And everything. And just double check. Set of keys is there. I think I'm missing a set of keys, another set of keys. Um, right, where's my dinner? Can't you see it? It's just a pile of food. But I am quite hungry, I ain't gonna lie. I'm very hungry. So here's my wallet. Here's my kit. Torch and my keys. Oh, brilliant. Already in the van, I've lost my keys. Where have I put them? Right. I will be back as I search for the keys. Okay, quick panic over. Keys were in my little black bag. Now I think I've learned. Little space. Loads of places to lose things. If you got to put something somewhere, like your keys or your thing, put it in one place that you know, and that's gonna be my little black bag. Everything like torch keys will go into there. So I can't lose it. Right, now we're gonna continue eating and I'll probably chill out the iPad, watch some stuff. I'll say hello before I go to bed and then I'll let you know in the morning how was the first night sleeping here.
you saw, I've got the iPad on the floor, resting against the tripod, which I was filming with. Magnetic light on the ceiling, got my clothes hanging on the side, it's getting cold now. Um, it's got two sleeping bags. I'll show you what my current sleeping setup is like. But there is a draft coming through here, quite a lot. You can really feel cold coming through. Um, yeah. really. Got my bag with me on it too. I'll probably be using carry bags quite a bit, I think. But um, I'll probably head off to bed. Just watch the Ring of Power, the final episode, until season three comes out. But I will now probably sort of get ready, get ready for sleeping. I now realise why. Well, I can't realise why, but I have a feeling that in winter in the van you'll be going to sleep a lot earlier. You'll probably wake earlier as well, but I think you'll be sleeping earlier in general. There's only so much you can do at night in the van, I think. So, oh. <clears throat> good night. We'll see how the first night's sleep goes. And I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. First night in the van is done. It wasn't terrible. I slept much, much worse. Comfort wise, the floor mat did the job. I do need to move the flappy bulky a bit because that occasionally dug in a little bit but not always sometimes I have my feet extended in the gap at the bottom of the van and sometimes I cut curl them up like a, I don't know like a feet ball position like a baby position knees up a little bit which was then firing from inside the back completely and then I'd extend them again can't just roll over as quick and easy as a floor or bed, you just have to readjust and then turn into position. They keep waking up. Um, that just makes weird noises, doesn't it? It makes you wake up because you hear things. Like the metal makes little random tapping noises. Then the seagulls or the birds were on the roof this morning. So that woke me up as well. And then because we're on parks, there's an industrial site. People start work about five o'clock, six. So they were out in the car park talking really loud. So that woke me up. Nothing bad, temperature wise. It went cold. But with the two sleeping bags, I was fine. It, even one point I got a bit hot. There was, yeah, there was no, um, uncomfortableness with the coldness so that was fine so the two sleeping bags currently worked uh, light coming through I came up with my own little light blocker for now which I'll show you in the next video I also chucked the dressing gown over the bulkhead to try and block a little bit of light oh one of the things that happened the, the alarm went off middle of the night um, so I had to sleep with the van unlocked. So that's something I need to work out. How do I sleep in the van without setting off the alarms? So I use the key fob, which then makes the van, I assume, think it's empty. Then I'm moving inside, which then makes you think there's someone breaking in or intruder. So then I went off. So. I don't know how to lock it from in. Oh, I've... there's a button when you're in the car, in the, in the cab, that you push, which locks the doors. Maybe I have to use that. I'll have a look at that in the future. Um, I'll, next time, I'll, I'll um, push those buttons to see if that locks to the van. Doesn't activate the alarms. Yeah. That's everything. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. That's everything. And, um, 
Let me get up. Have a shower and that. And I want to look at moving the rest of my stuff actually into the van now. I'm asleep. I've got to look at where I'm going to put stuff. I want to move my stuff in. There's going to be no room in there. In the back. So we'll work out how to roll up the bed, where to put that, and uh, where to put the rest of the bits that I've got. Yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you like the, the um, real world updates in the van. And I'll show you what I did with the bulkhead for, for a budget start. And I'll show you sort of my sleeping setup at the moment until I uh, get some money and change things around but this would be a what you call a no build version they flopped on the floor and things just hanging everywhere anyway thanks for watching uh, not a bad sleep actually I don't feel exhausted like I haven't slept <sighs> got to eat food in the van got to chill out watch the iPad and then got to sleep. We're all good. Right. Speak soon. <laughs>